Testing. <laughs> Testing broadcast. <clears throat> Working on your live stream. Published live. Okay, are we live? We'll give it a few minutes. We'll give it a few minutes before we get into the point of the stream. Dust off the shoulders there. Okay. There we go. We actually have lights on today. We haven't been doing that recently because of my odd streaming hours, but we actually have lights on today. It makes me look a little bit red. I'm not sure why. I believe we need a new webcam that's been on my uh, wish list for a while now. We need a new webcam, especially since we've basically turned into a streaming channel. But yes, we will give it a few minutes before we get into the point of this stream. We are going to be talking about breaking down the anxiety process and overcoming it, making it as simple and sweet as possible. You know, that's what I love to do here on the channel. That's, that's you know, that's my entire thing. That That's my thing. That's Wonder Bros thing to make things as simple and as sweet as possible. That's what I do. That is what I'm known for. So today we are going to make a little, um, I guess you could call it a fundamental uh, video breaking down the anxiety process and how to overcome it as simple and as sweet and as to the point as possible. <clears throat> that is what we're going to be doing today. Killer Mike, what's up Wonder Bro? How's it going bro? It's going pretty well man. How are you doing? Uh, I will try to fix the chat. Hold on. Did we get it first time? We've been getting it first time recently. I don't know why that didn't work. It's becoming a ha it's becoming like a ha it's becoming like a uh, a known thing that anytime I do streams, I always mess with the chat for a minute. Like everyone's just starting to expect that now. <laughs> it's just becoming a thing. I do have a little bit of a where's it at? I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a sneak peek right there. I do have a little bit of a graph that we're going to be going over today. Normally, I don't really teach or do streams uh, with graphs or anything like that, but I figured why the hell not? I love this graph and it might help somebody out there. So we're going to be actually teaching with a little bit of a graph today. I feel more like a teacher now. Okay. <laughs> I've got graphs and shit today. What's going on? Come on, chat. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. We'll give it a few minutes to let some people get in here before we actually get into the point of this stream as always and just so you guys know if you ever click on one of my streams that's already been streamed and it's you know it's just an uploaded version of that stream i do post in the comments at you know as many times as i can remember i've been i've been good with remembering it lately but i do post the start of the stream in the comments of all of my live streams so you don't have to watch uh the boring first few minutes if you don't want to keep that in mind that way you're not trying to skip around and try to find the beginning of the stream it is in the comments I do put it in the comments of these uh, streams it makes it more convenient for our people who can't catch us live <laughs> how has everybody been today how has everybody been today what exactly is the title of this stream I've done forgotten I've done forgotten the title of my own stream. Um, how anxiety works and how to overcome it. Yes, exactly. There we go. I remember now. Let's see. Before we get started, I am going to share the link to this stream out on my social media. There we go to the Wonder Bro page, to the Discord chat live streaming now at everyone I need to remember to start doing this too I never do this I never spread the word about my streams before they happen but I should probably start doing that live now perfect okay okay hmm all right, we should be good. We should be good to go. We should be good to go. Let's see. What's good, Wonder Bro? How you been? I've been doing good. Grilled cheese, that makes me want to grill cheese. Those are those are the bomb. Peter, morning, brother. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Peter? Today we're gonna be going another little quick sneak peek. Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be going over a little graph today, a simple understanding of the anxiety process and how to recover from it. You guys know my whole my whole thing here on the channel is to keep things as simple and to the point as possible. <clears throat> so that's what we're doing today, just a little bit of a fundamental video. 
Brandon, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? We're going to get started in just a second. I was getting the word spread about my stream here. Uh, okay, okay. We got it on the Discord, we got it on the group. Got it on the Discord and the group, so we'll get going here in just a minute. Let's see. I don't know why I have this red tint to my face. It has something to do with my lighting in here, apparently. Will the stream be uploaded? Yes, the stream will be uploaded. All right, let's go ahead and get going. So, anxiety. What is the process? How does anxiety work? And how, how do you recover from it? Okay, and I will get around to your questions as soon as the point of the stream is over. Keep that in mind. So, let's get right into it. So, here we have this little nifty graph that I grabbed offline. Okay, you can see anatomy up here at top. And let me try to make this a little bit bigger. It's not going to take up the whole screen, uh, screen, but there we go. So, it starts up here in this little bubble. The moment you believe you could be in danger. Okay, what is going to happen in that moment? Well, the brain tells the glands to release stress hormones. That is the feelings that you feel, the symptoms that you feel. So, the moment you believe you could be in danger, the brain releases stress hormones. What happens next? The glands release stress homo uh, hormones into the bloodstream. What happens after that? Stress hormones stimulate the sympathetic nervous system into action. This is all the adrenaline that you feel that urge to run, fight, or flight, as they call it. What happens? The sympathetic nervous system remains stimulated until the stress hormones are used up. Once the stress hormones are used up, the sympathetic nervous system gears down. <clears throat> so, if there was no second fear, which we commonly call second fear here on this channel, uh, if you've been watching me for a while, you're familiar with second fear. If there was no second fear, the cycle would end here. This is where the cycle would end, okay? The sympathetic nervous system gears down once the stress hormones are used up. That is where it would end if it wasn't for second fear. But you're going to notice this big, long red arrow here to the left. That is second fear. You might as well just slap, you know, open up Microsoft Paint and slap in the word second fear, though, uh, because this is what this represents. If you think you are still in danger, aka second fear, this big long red arrow is going to be our second fear. What happens? What happens if it doesn't end here like it's supposed to or like it would and we add second fear? Well, what happens is, follow me back to the top, the moment you believe you could be in danger, what happens? The cycle repeats itself. So when Dr. Claire Weeks, okay, she was the pioneer behind acceptance and first and second fear. When she's referring to second fear, this is what she's referring to, okay? The anxiety panic cycle is supposed to end right here, okay? But this big long red arrow, aka second fear, takes us all the way back to the top, the moment you believe you could be in danger, and we're right back in to repeating the cycle. <coughs> so if we know this is second fear, what do we have to do? What do we have to do? We have to spot first fear, okay? And first fear is this, the moment you believe you could be in danger. Now that could be from a triggering thought, situation, uh, et cetera, et cetera. If you were feeling sensitized or if you've been sensitized for a while, the moment you believe you could be in danger, AKA first fear will flash for quite some time. The cycle begins and we're not in control of that. We're not in control of first fear, especially if sensitized. We are not in control of first fear. We're not in control of any of this that you see here on the right side of these, uh, these, these, you hear me, hear me over here getting tongue tied on the right side of this graph. We're not in control of any of this. Only thing we're in control of right here is this red arrow, AKA second fear. That's what we're in control of. We are not in control of first fear right through here. We are only in control of this right here. So the cycle is supposed to end right here. Once the stress hormones are used up, the sympathetic nervous system gears down. <coughs> but, but, we are in a bad habit of adding second fear, aka if you think you are still in danger with your perspectives, with your thoughts, what you're telling yourself about that first fear, then the cycle gears up and starts all over again. And that's why you see people who are in this thing months and years and they can't seem to catch a break and the nervous system never gets to heal. It's because they continue to go through this repeated cycle of the moment you believe you could be in danger, AKA flashing first fear. They continue to go all the way through this cycle and instead of ending it right here, they continue to loop right back around. They continue to loop right back around. This is, it's like a never ending loop. Okay. So, 
instead of overcomplicating this thing, understand this graph that we have on the screen. Understand everything that I just explained. It's very simple in nature. You have first and second fear. First fear, we are not in direct control of. Okay, the cycle begins. Second fear, we are in control of, which is this big red juicy arrow right here. Okay, if you think you're still in danger, that's going to be our perspective. That's going to be what we're telling ourselves during that first flash of fear. That's what second fear is going to be. So although we have no control over first fear, especially if sensitized, what we can do is break out of this loop, this never-ending loop, okay, by focusing on this part of the graph right here, this big red arrow, if you still think you are in danger, aka second fear. <coughs> now, now, if we get into the habit of spotting when we're adding second fear and eliminating second fear, are we going to be healed overnight? Unfortunately, no, especially if you're severely sensitized. You know, I can't, I, I, I don't know how severely sensitized or non-severely sensitized each one of you are, but depending on how sensitized you are, this isn't going to happen overnight. Okay, what you're doing, though, is you're stopping this loop. You're stopping this cycle. You're getting out of this cycle. Now, that doesn't mean that first fear, uh, first fear won't still flash from time to time because it will because it will and you need to expect that and accept that this first fear right here will flash from time to time and you'll go through the processes right here you'll go through all the processes right here okay but we can end it here each time first fear flashes we have to get into a habit of making sure that we end it right here okay stress hormones are used up the sympathetic nervous system gears down we want to make sure we end it right here instead of going through the loop again <clears throat> instead of going through if you still think you are in danger aka second fear and then the process starts all over again back to back to back to back to back keeping your nervous system fried like i said that doesn't mean you know once we break that habit of second fear that first uh, fear is never going to flash again it will and you will have to go through this process of, you know however long it takes until you heal but we need to get into the habit of ending the cycle right here instead of going through this never ending back to back to back to back loop with this big red arrow second fear so <clears throat> I, i'm glad i could find this because i've never really had any visual aids on my stream or you know with any of my teachings i've never really had any visual aids so it's kind of cool to be working with a graph maybe it helps some people out there if you guys like this idea of working with graphs and breaking things down this way it's it's new it's not something i've ever really done before so if you like it let me know that you liked it okay maybe we can do more of this sort of thing in the future Maybe we can do more of this sort of thing in the future. So if you liked it, let me know that you like this um, style of teaching, I guess you could call it. And we'll try to do more of it in the future. So just one more time for good measure. First fear, the moment you believe you could be in danger, trigger is irrelevant. You go through the cycle. Brain realizes that. It releases the stress hormones. It's felt throughout the body. The sympathetic nervous system gets simulated but once the stress hormones are used up the sympathetic nervous system gears down unless we continue to bombard for lack of better words our nerves with second fear this big red arrow right here if you think you are still in danger aka second fear aka your perspectives and negative thoughts that you're holding about the feelings that continue to keep you in this back-to-back -back loop so let's go ahead and get this out of the way boom okay oh that was loud let's go ahead and get that out of the way if you guys like that style of teaching with visual aids let me know and that's something we'll try to do more of in the future you just have to let me know what you think about it <clears throat> make sure the sound's coming through the headphones i don't know why i had it through the speakers hello gina peter christopher uh brandon hello 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 I like this. It's actually calming me down right now, and the chest pain is subsiding. That's awesome, but you got to keep it up. Even when we turn the stream off, even when I'm not here with you, you have to keep it up, and you have to remember that the only thing you need to do is focus on spotting first fear and then spotting whether or not you're adding second fear. Why has my little Hall of Fame thing moved? Okay, there we go. I'm always dragging stuff around on accident. So even when we're not streaming, you've got to keep it up. You've got to practice spotting when you're adding second fear. Okay, we're not in direct control of first fear. That's going to come to an end as a result of healing. But we are in direct control of second fear. So your practice is notice when first fear flashes. Notice if you're adding second fear. And if you are, get a handle on that. Change that. Change things up. In one way or another, in one way or another, all my teachings, all my videos, if they're anxiety related, comes back to second fear in one way or another. I don't feel as sensitized as I uh, once was, but I feel stuck in my current situation. I still get anxious throughout the day, some days more severe than others, but not as bad as it was a while back. Always going to come back to that second fear, not adding second fear. Hey bro, I'm awake, very helpful. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the stream, how are you doing?
Thank you, John, for that $3 donation. I really appreciate that. I believe you went directly through the PayPal, which is fine. And by the way, this is the last time I'm going to say this. I think everyone's familiar with this by now. I think you went directly through the PayPal, which is fine, but it doesn't get you all the fancy stuff. But if you're cool with that, I'm cool with that. That's the last time I'm going to announce that, okay? If you don't use the link that's in the in, in the description, okay, you don't get all the fancy stuff. But either way, okay, either way is fine. Thank you for the three bucks. Really appreciate it, dude. <coughs> Thank you, thank you. You guys are so kind. You guys are so kind. Oof. They can, Brandon. Chest pain, chest soreness. All very, very common. Very, very common parts of anxiety. I mean, there's, there's a tons of symptoms out there. Chances are you already know your particular symptom set. Uh, but regardless of what your symptoms are, it's always going to come back to that graph that we were just talking about. Uh, second fear. That's what healing is always going to come back to, regardless of your particular symptom set. <coughs> Ooh, did I miss something? No, I believe we're good. I believe we're good. I wonder, bro, I just want to say thank you so much for you only. I've learned so much about spirituality and it really changed my life. Thank you so much. God bless you, dear. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you for stopping by and letting me know that's been helping you. That is awesome. Keep it up. Keep it up. So important that we keep it up. A lot of people, <coughs> you know. They start making these lifestyle changes and they don't stick with it because it doesn't work overnight or it's not clicking at first and they just give up on it. But everything that I teach here about, you know, anxiety, it's the way to go. I'm telling you, it's the way to go. If you're joining us late, by the way, don't worry, the stream will be uploaded. Okay, and if you missed the uh, clear week stream that we had like early yesterday morning, I did delete that because it ended up being like a, a stream where we just listened to podcasts that weren't anxiety related. So I ended up deleting that stream, but you can catch the quote that I was referring to in the title of that stream on the Wonder Bro Facebook page. It's on there. As of this moment right now, it's not, it's not buried. It's not buried in posts. It's right up near the top. I'm curious. I'm curious to see what people have to say about the whole graph thing. If that's something they want more of, I think it was. I think it was an excellent teaching tool. Sometimes not just you know hearing things, but also seeing it visually helps. Helps for you know helps to get it to sink in what I'm really saying. <clears throat> first smoke of the stream gotta go to work take care wonderful fam much love take it easy peter hope you have a great day the graph is great awesome awesome i may i may at some point uh start introducing more visual aids to my streams when i'm teaching i'm a little snot nosed today so hopefully that doesn't sound too gross if you can even hear that <sighs> Ugh. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see, do I still have that graph? For those of us, uh, for those of you rather, who are joining us late, I'll let you check that out one more time. So we start up here at the beginning of the process. Don't feel, don't feel afraid to pause the live stream. Okay, if you're a slow reader, that is fine. Pause the live stream. Okay, then we go down here. Take it all in. Take it all in. For those of you who are joining us late, this is what we were talking about today. Take it in, take it in. 
And then this big red arrow is going to represent second fear right here. It's going to represent second fear. And what does that do? Kind of starts it all over back to back to back. Take that in. That is what we were talking about today. Very simple little, little graph there, but very crucial. Okay. Very crucial that you understand this and take this in. Knowledge is power. A lot of people try to overcomplicate it, and that's a problem, especially when you're already very tired body and mind. Obsession and overcomplication, oof, not good for you. Not good for you. You need to keep it simple, and that's why I love little graphs like this. So simple when you break them down. So simple. <clears throat> I love that. I love that because I, I kept myself sensitized with the obsession alone, just trying to figure it all out and just overcomplicating it way more than it needed to be. It's actually a very simple process. It doesn't feel like a very simple process. I know that, uh, but it's actually a very simple, simple process in theory. So if we can keep it simple with just understanding this in terms of first and second fear, if we can keep it simple, that's going to bring us a lot of, a lot of stress relief in itself right there and not overcomplicating it. I see a lot of people overcomplicating it. I know I do a lot of videos and that might make people think that it is complicated, but it's not. I just do a lot of videos because I like to word it in different ways and I like to talk about the subject. Um, that doesn't mean it's complicated because you see that I've got 600 uploads. It just means that I'm telling you the same thing over and over again, just worded in many, many different ways. That's all that means. But at the end of the day, if I had to wrap up my teachings in one simple graph, this would be it. And I'd be writing second fear right here. And I'd be writing first fear right here. And then I'd make a little note down here about how we need to spot when first fear comes. And then take control of what we do have control over, which is not adding second fear. Okay? In our, you know, in the way that we see the feelings, our perspectives, our thoughts, etc. <clears throat> if I had to, if I had to wrap up all of my you know how many videos uploads are we at six seven hundred if i had to wrap those up all into one little neat package that would be what i would do right there joe how's it going who's everybody pulling for in the super bowl let's take a little poll if you even watch sports who's that who's everybody pulling for I'll tell you who I'm pulling for right now in the chat. Right there. There we go. That's who I'm going to have to go with this year. <clears throat> Chiefs? Okay. Okay. I'm not a particular fan of either team. I'm, I'm not a fan of either team. It's just if I had to choose... If I had to choose, that's who I'd go with, 49ers. It's not going to bother me either way. I'm not going to lose sleep over it either way. But that's who I'd have to go with. <clears throat> I've got some close friends who pull for the 49ers. Some of them who are here on the channel, Gustavo, I'm sure you guys are familiar with him. Big 49ers fan. Pretty close to that dude, so. The only reason I'm going with them is for, <laughs> for my friend's sake. Not gonna bother me either way, Casey. Obviously, <sighs> oh, God, oh God. when is it like the first February? I believe. Hey, man, regardless of what triggered your anxiety, second fear, spotting second fear, eliminating second fear is going to lead to your healing. Uh, if you're late to this stream, I highly recommend you watch it when it gets uploaded. Highly recommend it. Right here, this is the graph that we went over. Very easy, very simple to understand. Mm. 
regardless of what triggered it, regardless of, you know, how it came about or what started it. You're in the sensitized boat now, and the way out is right here in understanding this. So I highly recommend you watch the stream. Yes, Brandon. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. You guys like the new microphone? Very nifty. It's a little bit high up. Ugh. Looks legit, though. Looks legit like that. Looks so good. I need to use the green screen again or start using it, but then I don't have this little, little box right here. <sighs> Thank you, Beverly, for the $5 donation. Truly appreciate it. That helps me out more than you know. Thank you. I don't know if you're a hugger, but right there. It's a fight, I tell you every day. Yes, dropping that fight, okay, and instead spotting second fear and eliminating second fear, that's going to be your key. Like I said, highly recommend this stream. It will be uploaded. Don't worry if you missed it, it will be uploaded. Thank you for that, Joe. Yeah, I'm trying to push, okay, for any of my mods that are in here, I'm trying to push my gaming channel and advertise that during the live streams because I don't know how many people are aware that that even exists. It just launched. Um, Facebook page, group, Discord, my uh, my Instagram, Twitter, that's that's already down there, Facebook and all that, but yeah, those are the ones I'm mostly concerned about, Discord, Facebook page, group, uh, and the gaming channel, for any of my mods who want to help me spread the word on that in the chats, I would really appreciate it. Sharpness, yeah, sharp pains, very normal. <laughs> if I'm not going to be using the green screen a whole lot, which I'm probably not going to be until I get the money to buy a new webcam, really want to upgrade the webcam. Really want to upgrade that quality, especially since we've mostly primarily become a streaming channel. Um, but until I do that, if I'm not going to be using the green screen a whole lot, I kind of want to come up with some sort of idea of something to hang behind me. I mean, the green's cool and all, but I'm not really utilizing it at the moment. So... I'd like to come up with something to put behind me. I don't know. I don't know. Something that looks a little bit better. Figure it out. Oh, you have a podcast. Awesome. Uh, could you link me? Do you upload your podcast to a channel by chance? Or do you have anything you could link me to? Yeah, I, I recommend if, if any of you haven't been cleared by a doctor and you're continuing to assess that it might be something more, chances are it's not. Uh, but if you continue to obsess, then yeah, just go get cleared. You know, why not? You might as well. I would recommend that. But if you've been cleared, if you know it's anxiety, if you know you're dealing with anxiety symptoms, okay, then right here. I'm here for you. I got you. I got you. From that point, I got you. <laughs> You can find my videos on your channel. The Big D Zone. So the Big D has a, um, let's see, the Big D. The Big D Zone has a, um, has a channel. 
where he uploads his podcasts, and he has offered me to come on as a guest. That is awesome. 92 subs, you're getting there. Okay, could everyone could everyone do me a favor? The big D zone in chat right now. He seems like a very nice guy, very decent guy. Could everyone click on him real quick and go subscribe to his channel? Let's support our fellow creators. <clears throat> Looks like he's just getting started on his channel. Let's try to get him over 100 subs right here in this stream. Let's try to get this man over 100 subs right here in this stream. Seems like a very decent guy. Recently lost his wife. Um, well, maybe not recently. I think you said it had been 2016. Well, that's pretty recent, actually. Recently uh, lost his wife. Seems like he is focused on his channel. So let's go help him out. Let's go help him out. Come on. I know you guys. I know you guys got this. I'm going to refresh his page in just like five minutes, and you guys will have him over 100 subs. Go sub to the big diesel. Go sub to the big diesel. Don't worry about it, big diesel. Okay. My community's got you. My community's got you. We're gonna help you grow a little bit. Hi-Fi, it can be a little bit of a back and forth, you know, everybody's different, but regardless, you know, regardless of the little details, this is the way to heal right here. Don't get, don't get too over concerned about the little details. Everyone, everyone in chat, let's support our fellow creators. Let's support our fellow creators, the Big D Zone. He runs a podcast channel, and it actually seems like he talks about some pretty interesting stuff. Let's go help our, our fellow Wonder Bro family member and a fellow creator. Let's go help our fellow family member and fellow creator. And let's go sub to his channel and see if we can get him over 100 subs. He's at 92 right now. Come on, we can easily get him over 100 subs. Come on. <clears throat> Joe just posted the link. Everyone click on the link. Go sub to this man. Let's help him out. Let's help him out. Seems like he's got a nice little channel going. And I know, I know how it feels to be under 100 subs. It is a very hard grind. A very hard grind. So let's help this man out. All came back normal. So it's normal anxiety. Yes, if you've been cleared, it's all normal anxiety. And at this point, you're just adding second fear. So we just need to get into the habit of spotting second fear and eliminating it. <clears throat> Absolutely, Brandon. First time I catch a live, so hello, awesome stuff here. Well, welcome to your first live. Happy to have you here. All right, we've got him from just six subs away from 100 on the Big D Zone in the chat. Joe, could you post that link again? Everyone visit this man's channel. He's a fellow creator. Okay, we're trying to get him over 100 subs. I know how it feels to be under 100 subs. Okay, it's a very hard grind. Very hard grind. He's also a fellow member of our family here so let's help him out click that link go sub to the big d zone podcast channel looks like he's got some pretty interesting stuff on there <clears throat> come on guys i know we can get him over 100 subs easy he's at 94 right now we've got him up a little bit let's get him over 100 are you looking forward to resident evil 3 remake i am that looks like it's gonna be fucking amazing and i put a lot of time into re2 Oh, the RE2 remake was so good. Played it on PlayStation. Didn't have a PC at the time, or I would have played it on PC. I really, I really want to play... Um, Red Dead 2 for the PC, even though I already played the hell out of it on Xbox. Or no, it was PS4. Yeah, PS4. Thank you, Joe, for posting that link. Everybody click that link and click the sub button. Let's help this man out. Let's help this man out. He's a fellow creator trying to break 100 subs. I've been there. It's difficult to do. He's a fellow member of our family here. Come on, let's show him some love. <clears throat> 96 we got him to 96 subs okay when we started we were at like what 91 92 something like that we've almost got him to 100 let's get him to 100 come on we so close we're so close 97 okay there we go we're stepping it up 
Three more and we can get this man to 100 subs. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, lazy asses. Let's go. Let's go. Subscribe. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's awesome that you guys are willing to support each other. I love that. Any Star Wars fans here playing Battlefront 2 online? I'm not a Star Wars fan per se, but some of the games are really fun. Some of the older ones. I remember the older Star Wars games being particularly fun. I also do troop reports on radio and do predictions. I just did an interview over the weekend. We can talk about both of your channel. We can do this. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 98. This man's two away from 100 subs, Wonder Bro family. Come on, let's show him. Let's show him what we can do. 100 subs, two away. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I'm going to spam this chat with his link until we get this man past 100 subs. <laughs> 99 we need one more who's going to be my 100 who's going to be the person who breaks the big 100 on this man's channel seems like a really good guy seems like he talks about some interesting stuff on his channel and the biggest reason of all why we want to support him is he is one of our fellow family members here on the channel we support each other it's what we do 99 who's going to be our big 100 who's going to be our big 100 who's going to tip the scale here yeah high five we should always use acceptance resistance is a horrible vibe and we should never go that route we got him to 101 there we go big d zone congratulations just broke 100 subscribers Glad we could help you out. 101 subs. How does it feel? 102 subs. You guys are getting it right now. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. That is awesome. Congratulations on breaking 100 subs. I know that crawl to 100 is very difficult. Been there. Been there, done that. So, congratulations. <coughs> Excited. <clears throat> Oof. Oof. What's going on in my throat? <laughs> Excited. Thank you. Beautiful. That is awesome. Glad we can help you out, dude. Continue doing what you're doing. I know that grind at first, it can be tough. Just continue making content. Continue making content. People will come. What we resist persists. Yes. Love that quote. Happy to help you out, man. Congratulations. Let's keep making content. Biggest piece of advice for a growing YouTube channel. Just keep making content. Whether you're getting the results you want right now or not, just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. Thank you, Joe, for always going above and beyond. I truly appreciate that. Yes, donations are never required, but always appreciated. It does help me out. It does help me keep the channel running, keep me focused on the channel, because this can be my primary focus, you know, because I've got a source of income. So it really does help me out. It helps the channel out. So thank you so much. Never required, though. Never required. Never feel obligated. Please do not feel obligated. <coughs> But yes, thank you, Joe, for always going above and beyond. Truly appreciate it. I see you out there. I notice it. I notice it. I notice you putting in that work. My next, my next piece of advice for you, the Big D Zone, if you're really wanting to take your channel to the next level, let's get you some custom, let's get you a custom cover photo, okay? You want to draw people in with that art. You want people to visit your channel and you want them to be like, wow, this guy's dedicated, he's serious about what he does. So if you're not familiar with Photoshop, reach out to me on the Wonderbro Facebook page, send me a private message, I'll help you out with that, I'll do what I can, 
okay no promises but maybe we can come to an agreement on something and we can get you some artwork up there um also thumbnails thumbnails <coughs> just a few tips a few pointers you want your you want your channel to be visually appealing visually appealing that's the first thing people see even before they click on any of your content even before they get a chance to get to know you the first thing they're going to see is the appearance of your channel yeah i do need to get a p.o box that's something i've been wanting to do for a while now i do need to get one Oh, you have your own brand? That's awesome. See, that's that's the sort of stuff that you could promote on your channel. In your cover art, you know. In your cover art on your channel, just little little side notes, links to your... Well, not necessarily links, but you know what I'm saying. Little... Your social media in the cover photo somewhere listed. Promote your brand in your cover photo. You want your channel to be visually appealing. Bright colors, something that catches the eye, unique, custom. <clears throat> I just, I just have a soft spot in my heart when it comes to growing channels. <laughs> when it comes to growing channels, because I remember the grind. I remember the grind. I'm not saying we've quote unquote made it just yet. I know I'm still very much in the process of growing. I mean, but at almost 10K, at this point, I do want to help other smaller creators. That grind to 100 is tough. That grind to 1,000 is even tougher. I know how it feels. see also coaching sessions that's something i want to speak about more often coaching sessions if you're interested in those reach out to me on the wonder Bread facebook page or instagram we're moving back to america in two weeks that is awesome welcome back have that meet up we need to right once the channel grows a bit more we definitely will it's something i would love to do Definitely, probably, more than likely. <coughs> All right, you guys, what do we have? 43 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and end this stream here. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for watching. It means a ton to me. Like, subscribe, share. Let's continue to grow this channel and try to break 10K. I know we will break it soon. It's all thanks to you guys. Right there. Stay awesome.